Hi guys, well today we're going to be taking a look at what Fierce PC has to offer in their Dragon Shield full system. So for those of you guys who aren't familiar with uh, Fierce PC, they're a UK based systems integrator which are located up in the northwest in Haslingdon. Now compared to you know, some of the bigger names out there, these guys are, it's fair to say, uh, fairly new to the scene, having only become a systems integrator in 2013. But you know, they've been behind quite a few big events here in the UK and their reputation is rapidly growing and therefore they're definitely one to watch. So Dragon Shield is a high-end configuration bearing Intel's Core i7-6700K at 4.6, 16 gig of DDR4, Nvidia's GTX 1070 overclocked and M.2 NVMe storage. And it's also fairly evident that this rig features an impressive water cooling setup with a complementary LED lighting system. Now this is obviously no ordinary setup and this particular configuration today is going to cost you $2,049.95 and that might seem quite hefty but you know you price up these components independently uh, you're not far away from that 2k mark and uh, for someone who isn't confident to uh, build their own rig inside there we've got an overclock CPU and overclock GPU we've got a nice water cooling setup and it is backed by a two years parts warranty and then five years labor so quite an impressive and interesting proposition and by the end of our video we should be in a position really to evaluate whether or not it is worth that cost. Now this rig comes well packaged by Fierce PC in a triple boxed arrangement with plenty of foam padding to make sure that it gets delivered there without any damage. So here is our Dragon Shield. Now the external design lends itself to being quite subtle and minimalist and that is because Fierce PC has used Fractal Design's Define S for the computer chassis. So this case is very sleek and stylish and you can quite clearly see there from that front panel and it lacks that optical drive bay and actually this is really one of the first cases to introduce that idea of creating more space by taking out that DVD bay as more and more users are choosing to use technology like USB to transfer media files. Now as well as the layout and design the size of Define S is what makes it the perfect candidate for a water cooled PC. So the dimensions are as follows. It is 533mm deep, 465mm high, 233mm wide and for the weight the case is 10 kilos on its own but with all the components it is just shy of 20 kilos. So this rig is quite a hefty piece of kit. So at the front we have a plain panel which bears the Fierce PC logo and up at the very top we have two USB 3 ports, the headphone and microphone jacks and the power and reset buttons. And behind these ports at the top here of our system it is quite exposed and the ventilation is such that you really need to be careful when placing anything on the top so that one nothing falls inside and two so that the radiator has the freedom there to flush out unwanted heat. Turning to these sides we have a plain panel on the reverse side while on the prominent side we have a large piece of perspex since this is the windowed version of Define S which gives you a nice overview and a preview of the configuration inside and since Fierce PC also includes twin RGB LED strips this is the ideal setup to really liven things up and show off your rig. A controller is also supplied with Dragon Shield so that you can control the speed, the brightness, the colour and the modes and here is a quick demo of this in action. Now around the back of the rig we have all the input output. So up at the top we have two USB 2 ports with PS2 keyboard mouse combo, a USB 3.1 type C, a USB 3.1 type A, two mini display ports, two USB 3 ports with HDMI, a gigabit LAN port there that is via the Intel i219 controller, another two USB 3 ports and then all of those audio jacks. And the audio incidentally uses the ALC1150 codec and you know having already reviewed this gigabyte board here we can definitely vouch for the sound quality being very good. And along with those ports to the immediate right we also have a 140mm rear exhaust fan. 
In the lower section we also have some more video outs as we of course have the graphics card which we're going to take a closer look at later, that is the GTX 1070. So we have one DVI, one HDMI and three display ports, so plenty to choose from there. Now when it comes to the display it's worth making sure that you're plugged into the graphics card rather than the onboard ports above as if you are getting poor performance then it could well be that you're plugged directly into the motherboard output rather than a dedicated graphics card at the bottom it is an easy mistake to make. We also have the power supply at the very bottom there that is a Corsair unit and again we'll go into more detail when we enter the chassis. Okay, so to get inside we have to unscrew two thumb screws on either side and the panels just slide off. And here is an overview of the system which PSPC has constructed. And I'm sure you'll agree it looks rather impressive. Now it's pretty obvious that Dragon Shield uses water to cool both the CPU and GPU. So Fierce PC has used quite a catalogue of components from AlphaCool and EK. We're not going to go into the very intricate details of the valves and such, except to mention the main parts. All of this detail, however, will be listed in the full review over on Vortez.net. So we have an AlphaCool Nexus ST30, 360mm radiator up at the very top. While at the front we have the XT45 280mm radiator. The CPU uses an AlphaCool Nexus XP3 water block, while the GPU uses an EKFX 1070 water block. And you can see the reservoir there being used is the AlphaCool Icebecker 250mm, and that contains Mayhem's pastel white for the fluid. Okay, so underneath that CPU block, we have the driving force behind Dragon Shield. It is the Intel Core i7-6700K, which is quad-core, and it has been overclocked there from 4 GHz up to 4.6, and that should increase the overall performance quite significantly. And that chip sits on the Gigabyte Z170X Ultra Gaming. And as we've mentioned, we've already tested this board in a standalone review, and it is a very good choice to be opting for. Along with the Intel Z170 chipset and a strong lineup of features, the Ultra Gaming also comes with LED lighting which coordinates very well with the rest of the configuration although it is limited to just red. Now for the memory we have 16 gig of ADATA XPG Dazzle DDR4 which has the red LEDs and operates at 3000 megahertz and that capacity and speed should suit the majority of users out there. Okay, so the storage inside Dragon Shield is divided into a trio of drives. The primary drive is a 256 gig Samsung SM951 SSD, which is an M.2 NVMe drive. And this here is responsible for delivering fast sequential transfer rates and IOPS. The only thing with this drive is that it does get pretty toasty and as such the guys here have installed a heatsink over the PCB. And later on we'll demonstrate how this drive performs when we run some benchmarks. So that there is the primary drive which hosts the Windows 10 operating system. We also have another SSD, albeit a 2.5 inch drive. This is the Samsung 850 Evo, and it arrives in the 500 gig capacity. So that there is perhaps going to be ideal for your game storage, giving you a bit of an advantage there over a mechanical for gaming. And the last drive is indeed a mechanical type. This is a Seagate 2TB 7200 RPM drive, and it will provide you with the ideal place there for the bulk of your storage, such as movies and pictures. Now although it's difficult to identify from all the water cooling componentry, uh, the graphics card here used inside this system is the 8GB EVGA GTX 1070. And just like the CPU, Fierce PC has overclocked the graphics card, pushing the GPU clock from 1595 up to 1742, the memory clock from 2000 up to 2210, and again that is going to provide us with a nice boost in performance there, allowing for better frame rates in game. And powering all these fantastic components is the Corsair RM650i, which is an 80 plus gold certified power supply. And that unit comes with the Corsair Link, so it has that digital interface where you can monitor and modify certain settings. And it's also modular, so the cable management is nice and tidy. And speaking of which, you can quite clearly see that Fierce PC has done a fine job with the cable management, not only for the visual attraction, but to clear the way for any airflow too. Okay, so we've taken a detailed look at Dragon Shield and now it's about time that we performed a few benchmarks to see exactly how capable this machine really is. So we're going to do a boot into Windows 10 which our rig comes bundled with. We're going to see what the read and write performance is like and then have a look at some of the latest gaming titles and to see how this setup handles them. While also monitoring the CPU and the GPU temperatures and we'll also do a quick sound demo to demonstrate how noisy this unit gets while in game. Now for additional benchmarks please check out the full review. Okay, so first of all, let's boot Dragon Shield and see how quick we get into Windows 10 from a cold boot.
Okay, and this is how loud our system is while we're in game. Okay, and if we just jump out of Doom, we can have a look at the temperatures. Okay, well that in a nutshell is the Dragon Shield. So it brings some excellent components and hardware to the table as you've uh, seen in those benchmarks by applying an overclock to that GTX 1070, we get some really impressive performance. And actually, we took that GTX 1070, we kind of rolled back to those stock settings uh, just to see how much of a performance increase we got with that overclock and it offers um, about 10 uh, frames extra in certain games and even more in, uh, depending on the title that you go into. So it kind of shows you just how significant overclocking uh, the GPU and the memory in terms of that uh, performance benefit. And then we have the water cooling setup which, you know, on the one hand uh, it looks the business and then on the other it delivers outstanding results, especially when you look at something like that GTX 1070 you know, it doesn't even budge or exceed past that uh, 40 degree mark with sustained load. And even with that overclock applied to it, it doesn't even break a sweat. So if you are after the eye candy and you want to keep those temperatures right down, then you can't go far wrong with this rig. And since this is our first outing with uh, Fierce PC, we've been really impressed by what uh, they've kind of offered in this Dragon Shield. You know, it's got all those high quality components. Everything is very tidy inside and then we get to the two years hardware warranty and the five years labor. So a great choice if you don't fancy building your own PC. So guys, if you are looking for some uh, even more benchmarks on this particular setup, please head over to the full review, which is gonna be on the screen in the description very soon. Thanks very much for taking time out of your day to watch today, guys. Please hit that thumbs up. Please continue to support the channel by subscribing and I'll see you guys very soon.